from the Caribbean island of Dominica. So I have been here for the last few days with the tourism board Discover Dominica to really discover this wild and natural island. Dominica is known as the nature island of the Caribbean and I can certainly see why. So this video is going to show you what I've been doing here in Dominica for the last few days going over some of the best activities to do in Dominica and some really really unique places featuring this beach. If you are coming to Dominica soon it's going to give you some really good ideas of what you can do and if Dominica isn't on your radar then I think after this video it may just be so enjoy. I'm staying at the Fort Young Hotel in Roseau and because we arrived in the dark I didn't get to see the view from my room so just woken up and look at this talk about an ocean view room this is absolutely amazing um, so I'm gonna head off and get breakfast soon and then I'm gonna start day one's activities so this is the pool at the Fort Young Hotel and look at the rainbow in the distance how beautiful is that So our first activity in Dominica, we're getting straight into it, straight into the adventure. We've come to see one of the waterfalls and it's also a really popular island for hiking. So it makes sense to have hiked to a waterfall and we've come to Middleham Falls through the rainforest. A little bit sweaty, but it is all good. and more proof that this Caribbean island is like no other. We are right up in the clouds now. We are in the biggest national park on the island and this here is Freshwater Lake. It is a really popular lake to swim in. Obviously, as you can imagine, we are not swimming in today, but it's just amazing just to see the clouds coming over. This is like, I can see already why they call it the nature island. We are still in the rainforest and our next stop is Tito Gorge, which is a really popular place to come here. And actually Dominica, they get quite a few cruise ships here um, through from October through to April. It is now July, so they're not here right now. And this is one of the popular places that the cruise day trippers do come to. They actually filmed um, part of Pirates of the Caribbean 2 here as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think the water is going to be cold, although we have been told multiple times already today there is no such thing as cold here in Dominica. It is just refreshing, so we'll see. It's refreshing. <laughs> in a local what would you is this just a local bar just a local bar just come for a cinnamon rum so i'm scared Cheers. <laughs> So right now we are on the most southern tip of the island and this is where the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Ocean meet. Caribbean. 
Okay, we've gone from the ocean back inland and right now I'm at Trafalgar Falls. This is one of the most popular waterfalls on the island. Um, definitely not as much of a hike as yesterday. We've got not one, but two. So it is Saturday morning here in Dominica and we have heard that there is a Saturday market in the town of Roseau. We're going to go and check it out. This afternoon we have come out on a little scenic drive and we're just driving all the way up the west coast um, and right now we're at Mero Beach. Now this beach is rated as one of the best beaches in Dominica or at least that's what Google says. I think it was TripAdvisor that I saw that on. Um, Dominica isn't known for its beaches. You're not going to get white sand beaches here. Um, so this is kind of like a mixed kind of black sand beach um, because Dominica is, I think it's like 99% volcanic. The beach is nice. It's not like amazing, but I feel like that's what I mean. You don't really come here for the beaches, um, but it is a cool place if you do want to top up your tan and get in the water. <laughs> Okay, so we've just driven through the island. We're now on the kind of like northeastern part of the island. And we've just come to the Kalinago territory. And the Kalinago people are the indigenous people of the island. And you can come here to kind of like a welcome center, which is where I am now, um, and learn about the indigenous people um, and about their lives. On the second voyage, the first voyage you can go through all the ships. The second voyage you get east of the island here. We've learnt some crazy facts. I mean, I knew that this area of the world obviously has got a really, really bad history of enslavement, and then obviously they were colonised as well. Um, but I didn't realise that apparently in in 1503, Spain passed a law to say that settlers on any island south of Puerto Rico um, were allowed to enslave the kind of indigenous people here. So at the time they were called Carib people. Um, and yeah, make them slaves, which is terrible. However, because Dominica is so mountainous, a lot of the people here, um, they, they didn't get captured as slaves as much because of the landscape here um, compared to like the flatter islands nearby. But these days, um, it does seem a lot better. So up here, there is 3,500 acres of land, um, which are just for the Kalinago people. And there are, the last population was about 3,700 and something. So that has gone up. He did say it's kind of declining at the moment, but like kind of way back in time, there was only a few hundred people. So that is um, rising and they have a chief, a Kalinago chief, that looks after this area um, and they're elected every five years. And yeah, and the Kalinago people, they can live wherever they want on the island um, here on Dominica, but people that aren't Kalinago, they can't come into this area and this territory and buy land. It is a Sunday afternoon here in Dominica and that means one thing, that means we are going whale watching. I am so, so excited. So Dominica is really, really unique because you can actually see whales here all year round. Obviously they are natural animals so it's never guaranteed that you're gonna see one, but because of the migration habits of the sperm whales, and I believe there's a huge trench as well um, off the side of the island, you do find um, Wales here all year round. All the, all the stations that we come in contact with, we have the Orca, which inhabits every ocean.
Well, we were not disappointed. We saw three sperm whales all together and one of them was a little baby and then we watched them come up for air quite a few times and then the guys here obviously know like how to read them. Um, so they knew when they were about to um, go under and put their tail up. So we were all got the shot for that. So yeah, we're happy now. I think we can go home happy. <laughs> So after the whale watching, we've checked into our second accommodation. We're staying at Picard Beach Cottages and we are right on the beach. And just look at this sunset behind me. Yeah, we're staying in all of these huts. And it is a black sand beach again, just like the other one. Probably not what you'd think of the Caribbean, but look at this. So it is our last full day on Dominica today and I'm super sad about it, but we have got two adventures lined up. So we've just been picked up by Happy Car Rentals who have been taking us around the island all week. They are absolutely fantastic. The three guys that have been taking us around are so, so nice and they're so knowledgeable. They know so much. And right now I'm going to the Syndicate Nature Trail to meet Dr. Birdie, who I feel like is a bit of an institution on the island. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, come, come, come and see here. And that is just like pure lemongrass, that is so nice. Look how just absolutely lush and green it is here. We are at the base of the biggest mountain on the island. Um, yeah, we're out with Dr. Birdie. And he said that on a good day, on like a full day tour of bird watching here, you can see up to 45 species of birds, which is pretty impressive. We've already seen a couple. <laughs> about to start our last activity of the trip and we are going on the Indian River Safari. So something that's really popular here on Dominica is the bush bars and they're basically just bars that can be found all around the island in the most random locations. You can go there and they sell all types of different rum. So we've just stopped um, on our Indian river safari to one of the bush bars. We've got a rum here. The passion fruit rums are really good. I definitely recommend those. And just one more rum for the road. It is my last day in Dominica today. I am leaving in a couple of hours, but there was one more surprise for me in store because we have come to Batibu Bay, which is about 45 minutes from the airport here. And wow, I have, I don't think I've ever seen a beach this amazing. It is completely natural, completely raw. I just can't believe it. What a way to end this trip. end this vlog here because yeah I go to the airport soon we've got like just a short 40 minute flight to Antigua a bit of a wait in Antigua and then I fly back to London because Dominica there are no direct flights here from Europe 
the US, the UK, anything like that, which I feel just makes it even like more special because it does make it a little bit harder to get to, but it is totally worth it. And yeah, I hope that you can tell from this video that I have just had the best time here. I just, it's like nowhere I've ever been before. Like I said, it's wild, it's unique, it's natural. If you've liked this, please give it a thumbs up. Please let me know in the comments if you have been here, if you're coming here, if you want to come here, I would love to hear from you. Make sure you hit subscribe for more travel videos and then I'll see you in the next video. Bye.